That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Hey, what's going on, YouTubers? Welcome to the final video for the first uh, lunar landing. Um, as you can see, it's all completed. I've uh, painted up all the equipment, painted the base, the astronauts, and I also created a little wooden plaque for it with a little a wooden base for it with a little plaque there. Um, <clears throat> it's not really a lot to say about it, but uh, I'll just sort of give you a look around. All the equipment, I uh, just sort of had a look online to see what was, see if I can find any of the original equipment, pictures of the original equipment, but uh, what we did find was uh, just a few pictures, so they had to do. <laughs> and... Um, the equipment is not as accurate as the in detail as the lunar module itself, but um, you know, it's not too bad, it's better than nothing. Uh, I fixed up the camera like I said in the previous video. I was thinking about it, I should have added a wire coming down the pole. It would look cool because uh, on the base itself there's actually a wire that runs down. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it properly, but yeah. Anyway. Um, the flag was a decal on both sides that was sort of over, oversized. So instead of trimming it, um, we just put the two sides together and it seemed to work well. I don't know if it was designed like that or not, but it seemed to work pretty cool. But uh, solar wind experiment there is uh, just foiled. I think I might have explained that in the last video anyway. <coughs> Uh, the astronauts were painted in white, and then the gloves and the shoes were um, painted in like a dark grey, and I gave them like a wash, uh, sort of uh, just the, the base white with just a little bit of <coughs> light grey in it, just to bring out some of the, the crevices, and then the hoses were painted with uh, red and blue, <coughs> clear red and blue that is. Um, and the visor itself is uh, foil, similar to the rest of it, I uh, just painted it with uh, clear yellow and a bit of um, gold leaf mixed in it and sort of just sprayed it on some foil and then put it over. <coughs> uh, the base, now the base actually comes with the shadows uh, engraved into it which, uh, I mean, it's pretty cool, but, um, and I shined, I shined, <laughs> I shined a torch to see if the shadows would line up, they're, they're pretty close, they're not perfect, but, I mean, you know, there's a lot of controversy about the shadows anyway, so maybe they, they are correct, <laughs> um, but yeah, so the shadow is just, uh, painted, uh, with the airbrush, uh, as, what was on the base already there actually and then these what wasn't there like the craters for example and the little rocks and stuff uh, I just did them by hand with the airbrush <coughs> to make them look like they had a shadow um, the actual base itself was it's pretty simple the way I painted it uh, originally I thought of dry brushing it but uh, because this whole shadow thing was going on, I decided to sort of paint, the, prime the base, paint everything in sort of different colours of, well different shades of grey just to give it a bit of uh, different tonality and then I took the airbrush and <coughs> followed the the line of the shadows and sprayed it black like from a, from a low angle so it'll take the hit the edges of the rocks, but leave the other side of it uh, grey still. And I pretty much did that throughout the whole thing, and then it came from the other side and did white. So you get that nice contrast. You probably see it best on the on the crater here. So I thought that was a pretty pretty cool effect, which I found by mistake, but 
Um, yeah, I mean, worked well, I think. I probably wish it was a little bit lighter, the bass, but, um, you know, it is what it is, and no point changing it now. Uh, and then for the wooden, the wooden bass here, this is just the MDF board that I uh, cut, you know, just a little bit bigger than the bass itself, and then each of the, of the corners I cut them at a 45 degree angle. And uh, I routed the edge, which I'm not sure if you can see here, you probably can, yeah. Routed the edge, which sort of like steps down and, and curves a bit. <coughs> and then I just printed out this little plaque here. <coughs> um, actually, speaking of plaques and stuff, uh, I've designed a little uh, participation award, which I'm going to uh, send to all the people that have... Uh, Participated in this group build, um, which isn't many. <laughs> uh, so once you sort of uh, finish, I'll, I want you to, to send me some photos because I want to do a uh, like a little collage thing at the end. But so far, there's only one guy that has finished, apart from me, um, and he has sent me his photos. Um, so yeah, as it as it gets towards the end of the group build, you know, July 20th, um, you know, I'll send out these awards, and I'm probably just going to email them, I don't think I'm going to print them out and actually send them, it's just a little thing I designed, so, nothing special, just to show our appreciation, basically, um, and that's it, I don't really know if I'm going to have much of a slideshow, I might just take a few show, a few, uh, few shotos. <laughs> A few shots here, and and that's it, really. And, uh, and yeah, I'll uh, catch you all later.